Well, as you get deeper into trading, you may hear about something called a delta neutral strategy. We're here to talk about that today and define that is Jeff Wong. So Jeff, first of all, what is delta neutral? Well, Tim, trading options is not quite like trading. Uh, let me get an example. It's easier. Uh, if we're trading Apple Computer, and Apple Computer is trading uh, $325, we go into the options market and buy an option, a call option on Apple. Well, one call option on Apple is equivalent to a delta or a portion of the stock and not the full 100 shares. So if I buy one call option with a 50% delta, that means I'm entitled to control 50% of 100 shares, which is 50 shares of Apple Computer. So I'm not really buying 100 shares of Apple Computer, but putting up a small percentage of money and controlling 50 shares of Apple. So if Apple moves up $1, I make 50% of that $1 move if I own the option. If I own the stock and it moves up $1, I make a full dollar. So that's what delta neutral is. And what are the, what are the advantages, I guess, of doing a delta neutral strategy? Interesting you should say that now, Tim, because in this environment of trading, with QE2 coming to an end, with the uh, problems in Europe uh, heating up every single day with Greece and Spain and unemployment, what's happening is the marketplace doesn't know exactly what direction it's going in. So I recommend to a lot of clients that if you don't know the direction of a particular uh, let's say the S&Ps or the Dow, is to put on this delta neutral position. And that is where you buy the option and hedge the delta portion completely. Example, I want to take, uh, again, Apple Computer. I don't know which direction it's going to go, but I think it's going to go up and down. So I buy an option, a call option on Apple Computer, and let's say the call option is 50%. I buy the call option, and I sell 50% of the shares, which means I have no position now in Apple Computer. If Apple Computer goes higher, the delta on the call goes higher, I become longer Apple shares, I can sell Apple shares. If the stock goes lower, I can buy Apple shares. So it gives me the opportunity to rebalance this position and not even think about it. All I care about in a delta neutral position is that the underline goes up and it goes down and it goes up and it goes down and I can make money by just rebalancing the delta of that particular option. Do I have to be a day trader and watch this all day to make sure this delta is not getting out of hand? Actually, trading it on a daily basis, actually on an hourly basis, is much better than putting it on and not trading it because that rebalance can be key, especially in the case with like Apple, where in a given day it could be up three and then you can turn around and it could be down three. So you want to take advantage of those aberrations up and down on a daily basis, on a hourly basis, or whenever the stock actually moves, Tim. All right, and then finally, how much money do I need to take advantage of one of these? You don't need an, an awful lot of money, Tim. It, it, it's a matter of having enough money to buy the particular option premium. And as we all know, it's cheaper to buy an option premium than to buy the stock itself. Jeff, thanks for your time. You're welcome, Tim. You're watching the moneyshow.com video network.